Hi everyone. When you're watching this particular video, it means that you are entering week number seven, which is to learn how to uh, write a diary or a journal. That's very, very interesting, whereby in online journalism, apart from, apart from uh, being a reporter or a journalist, uh, which you all are because you, are, you have enrolled in my class, is to expose to various types of writing. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to only write about hard news story or a uh, feature story, but to actually, uh, to, to actually, you know, enhance your writing is to actually write a diary. Okay, apart from the weekly uh, blog posting on current issues that you write your thoughts on, which is a part of the assessment, this would, this particular video lecture will be an extension of, uh, you know, for you on how should you write a diary, a diary guide, or how should you, you know, explore your writing styles in terms of in a diary way. Okay, with that, uh, I will off my webcam and we will focus on the particular uh, website uh, that I prepared for you that we will go through together in this video lecture. All right, I will off my video webcam and focusing on the uh, website itself. Okay. Okay, so what you have here on the screen would be penzu.com. If you Google penzu.com, uh, it's an application where you can actually write a diary uh, on this particular website or this particular, particular application. Um, if you are not, uh, if, if you're not keen on using a blog, Penzu can do the same thing as well, but specifically on diary, you know, diary features. Okay, so uh, to start off, what is a diary? Okay, what is a diary? So a diary is a private place where you can keep your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on everything from work to school and everywhere in between, okay? There are all different types of diaries, like food diaries, health, and academic, but your diary doesn't have to be specific if you don't want it to be. So sometimes uh, when you only, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, re I'm an old school person back then during my high school days whereby I only write um, whenever I feel like it. But as a reporter or as a, a, as a student who learns online journalism, it's good to actually keep you know, your thoughts on a daily basis so that you won't forget. And, and, and the benefit of it is you can explore your styles of writing almost every day. So when you write more, uh, you will enhance your writing to become uh, much better from day to day. Okay, with that, okay. Okay. Okay, we're scrolling down. Uh, okay, scrolling down. Just got to know how to scroll down. Okay. Okay, how to start a diary? To start a di diary, all you need is a willingness to write. That's the most important part because start by figuring out uh, what you want to write in your journal. If you're unsure, simply start writing and see where that leads. Because to actually, you know, um, uh, improve your writing, you can just start it off anywhere you want. You can start off at any thought. It doesn't have to be really, really specific. Anything that comes through your mind. Okay, so it can be useful to set a time limit in your early writing session. Set an alarm for 10 to 20 minutes and start writing. So um, basically to practice writing itself, uh, if you want to become a writer, is to actually prepare a schedule that for this particular day, on this particular day, you have 10 to 20 minutes to start to write anything that comes through your mind. Okay, so uh, it can, it, when you want to keep a diary, it's good whereby 
you, you know, when you read later on or 10 years from now, if you still keep your diary or your website, you can actually, you know, uh, see it and, and read it back and, you know, probably have a laugh on, you know, the things that you, you, you're think about, thinking about at that particular time. So we go straightly on eight tips uh, when starting a diary. So writing can be really, really hard. Um, especially if you want to start a blog or you want to be a blogger, but uh, this would be the best tips that uh, I can actually share with you uh, through this particular website. So the first one is to decide to write. Okay, first you need to decide what or decide you want to start a diary. Once you have decided, you want to dedicate time to creating a diary. Starting one will be easy. To follow up is even much more harder so try to decide you want to write you buy a book or you start a website or even a blog and start a schedule okay the second one would be decide what to write this is very very hard because um if you want the diary to be specific and you want to generate a lot of followers for example so uh the first few uh postings you think that um maybe you want to keep it to yourself but later on when you start writing you feel that you can share your stories uh, your story with other people so with that, you have to, you know, maybe you want to pick, pick a particular theme on, on your writing. So uh, you can create multiple diaries by different topics or just have one diary that has everything. So you can have personal musings of your own, food, fashion, travel, sports, work, school, and so forth. Okay. And the third one to create a shadow. Okay. When you want to start a diary, you must write it frequently. Set your mind towards the particular writing, okay? Because I must emphasize this, when you write, okay, and, and you start writing a diary, you will eventually become a better writer because you always write. And to become a better writer or a reporter or even a journalist, it comes along with uh, to actually read as well. So read and write you know, improves you know, the style of your writing throughout time. Okay, so coming back to the website, when you have decided what you want to write in your diary, you know, you have to set a particular schedule. So never miss it. Make it like a commitment. For example, going on a date, you know, you have to go out and dress up. And just like writing a diary, you have to do that as well. Okay, and set a time limit. Uh, it's easy to get carried away with writing too much when di diary writing. A way to stay concise and to track is to set a time limit for your writing. So set a time limit that reflects that. Sometimes between 30 minutes and an hour is ideal. But if you can't do that, 10, 15 is okay. So uh, date your entries as well. Number five, guideline number five. So when you can actually go through, you know, on this particular day, you have to go this one, okay? But if you write in pencil, right, uh, it dates your entries automatically, which is fantastic. Okay. Uh, and create an introductory entry. So for your first diary entry, try to write an introduction to what your diary will be about. Introduce, introduce yourself, what things interest you, what you think is important, and what, and what you want this, not daily, diary typo on the website. Open up and be yourself. So um, it doesn't matter where you want to write it. So try to have an introduction towards it so that at the end of the day when you write you know eventually when you write a lot of things you forget so you can actually go back and say oh actually i want to write about this particular issue or i want to write on my personal thoughts or personal musings on guys for example okay Number seven will be act like you're writing to a trusted friend. So when you write, right, to actually, you know, um, find your style of writing is to write like you are writing to someone so that a person will actually read it 
okay so uh you know so you must be comfortable in writing your thoughts that's how you have to you have to have to write which you become a writer if you a good writer if you practice that and number eight would be uh having fun yeah have fun have some peace take a cookie and write something and then and munch on something and write something uh, you know maybe on your phone you can download other apps besides pencil or blog you know just blog yeah and uh in writing diary entries okay the first one is uh okay uh, trip to, uh, 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 tips to, to write diary entries would be brainstorm what you're going to write about, okay? You want to know what you want to write about today. So ask your questions and focus and be specific. So you can ask what do you uh, did you learn today if you did something on a particular day? What do you want to accomplish? Uh, what do you want to fix? How are you feeling on that particular day? Okay, this can relate to your general life, something happened to you and so forth. Write down your answers, okay? It can be to it can be in a form of QA that you develop you know, your narrative writing. Uh, number four will be pick a format. Your entries can be all different types of format depending on what you're writing about. Maybe you are making a list of things you want to ac accomplish in your future. Maybe you want number one, number two, number three. Okay, so you want to pick to-do lists or you want to write a dialogue or, you know, I don't know. So maybe you can... Uh, look back and watch the videos on uh, writing styles in a blog so that will actually help you on styles of writing okay number five would be make them different try and have a variety of different entries so you don't get bored so you know you want to be a better writer so you know you, you want to think of a particular issue that you know really strikes you or if someone reads it they will continue on to actually read yourself. So think about that as well. And number six would be, don't be hard on yourself while you're writing. So it's a free zone. So relax. Keep your thoughts in order. Okay. So when you think of something, make sure to jot that down. Okay. Try to write about events in the sequence they happen, which is a good way. Uh, and a good method in practice, uh, a timeline of writing so that you won't go back and forth and rewind and fast forward back. So do a specific timeline if you are telling an issue based on days or timing or things like that. And number eight will be get your creative juices flowing, which is your entries don't just have to be words, but you can have pictures. So we have all, all of us have a smartphone now. Try to, you know, be a little bit personal yourself, okay? And uh, that would be, yeah, that would be a, a little bit on that. And last but not least, tips for journal writers. Uh, when we talk about um, this particular video lecture itself, I'm calling you new journal writers whereby you're focusing on a different style of writing and online journalism. Okay. Uh, the first one is to get excited, excited, it's fun, it's productive. Number two is reflect, you know, diary is a good thing whereby you reflect on things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So it, give, it keeps you grounded. Number three will be to free write, okay? Uh, unstructured writing is probably the best way to start writing. Once you get into the habit of keeping a diary, you will feel more comfortable with a structure. So sometimes different writers have different styles of writing. So by doing a diary, right, by practicing a diary or a blog or doing with pencil or any applications, applications that it, there is online, okay, you you practice structure. So you will reflect back and see how the way you write. Then from time to time, you would like to correct yourself and become a better. That is a normal thing that you will do when you write a diary, okay? If you commit to write a diary, 
Okay, and um, a, f uh, a few last tips, keys to successfully writing a diary is to be honest, be frequent, be natural, don't control yourself, and that would be all. Okay, people, coming back to me on my webcam. So that would be a little, a little bit sharing on you. Um, a little bit sharing with you, sorry, a bit sharing with you on how to write a diary. It's really, really important whereby, as I mentioned earlier, in online journalism, apart from being a journalist or a reporter, is to explore various types of writing styles. Whereby if you, you, you intend to be a reporter, a journalist, a writer, a magazine, a magazine reporter, or so forth, you know, writing a diary will be the most um, basic foundation for you to improve on your styles of writing, especially narrative. Okay, so with that, um, that's a wrap for this particular video lecture. Uh, I will have a tutorial for you to do uh, in this particular section, week seven. So please do it. And I'm looking forward to um, see your writings in terms of, in the context of a diary journal-ish, which you will only share with me. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a good day and stay safe, everybody. Bye.